just sitting about there. Mine's having Like, well done, Susie. <laughs> well, it's better than waiting, isn't it? Okay. It's a bit close. If I can ask you not to lean against even stools, because they are very difficult. Okay. okay. I have no intention of leaning against stools, but you know. <laughs> wow, this is a bit. You couldn't be a chubster in here, could you? No, you couldn't be a chubster in here. Are we going to see? This Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Mail Rail. Please can all passengers try to avoid leaning on the doors or windows for the duration of the ride as this can sometimes cause the train to stop. Thank you very much and enjoy the experience. to Mail Rail. You're about to explore some of London's hidden underground postal railway. I'm Andy, your guide today, and I'm joined by Ray Middlesworth. Hi, Ray. Hi. I worked here as an engineer for 27 years, keeping the trains running. But not just any old trains. This unique narrow gauge railway is designed to carry mail, not people. So if you're feeling a little cramped, that's why. And although we have a driver today, the original mail trains were driverless. It was a huge network of automated electric trains running right under central London, carrying mail between main railway stations and sorting offices much faster than along the congested streets above our heads. And it's amazing to think construction of the railway began as far back as 1914, with the tunnels dug by hand. Work was put on hold during the First World War, but when the railway finally opened in 1927, it cut the journey time across London from a few hours to just 30 minutes. It was an engineering marvel. Malrail ran almost non-stop, night and day, for over 75 years until 2003. As we explore, we'll be going back in time to see tunnels, loading platforms and a few surprises. We'll be at our first stop in a few minutes. Did you spot some sandbags just then? Ray, could you tell us about that? Sandbags on the line. That's called the sand drag. That's a pile of sand on the track designed to stop runaway trains. If they run down that hill we've just come down, that will catch them. The platform you're about to see looks much as it did on the day it shut down in 2003. Uh, Ray, can you describe it for us? When Mail Rail was running, this platform would be a hive of activity. You'd see people playing darts between the trains arriving, guys conversing back and forth and wheeling work up and down. It was a noisy and lively place to work. Ray's going to tell you more about life working on the railway as we take a trip down memory lane through the many decades of Mail Rail. We're under Mount Pleasant sorting office, heading east to Whitechapel. It was hard work down here, but we all thought we were part of something important. There was enormous team spirit. We seemed to get ourselves in the news a lot in the 90s. It didn't hurt that Bruce Willis made a film down here called Hudson Hawk.
left leads to Liverpool Street Station, where mail was transferred to the main railway network. Further down that tunnel, it looks like a maintenance crew is checking the flood barriers. This side's good. What's that like? Big heavy steel doors that close it off. During the railway's construction, ten men scrambled to safety when the nearby river fleet broke into where they were digging. The barriers here were installed later, after the wall, but they never had to be used. Uh, Ray, there's something else here that people might be interested in. Can you tell us about that? When we move off just up ahead, look down towards the track. You might catch a glimpse of the train graveyard where disused trains are stored. I must have worked on all of them at some time or other. Just a power cut. Ray, can you explain? Power cuts happen from time to time when the railway was operational. We could draw power from the next station along to keep everything running. And of course, us guys in the engineering teams always kept the trains and track in good order. Okay, on we go. email, texting, or instant messaging. Whatever the message, it was sent through the post. So there was a lot of mail to move. Train loads of mail arrived at every station every few minutes, with less than 60 seconds to unload and reload. I hope you've enjoyed your tour of London's hidden postal railway. It was unique, and I love being part of the great team keeping the railway running. We hope you'll enjoy exploring the rest of the exhibition just as much. Goodbye. Goodbye.